All right, let's talk about scanning your cards. Now, let's say you've picked a scanner or a mobile phone. Um, one of the first things that I always recommend is pre-sorting your cards. A super cheap investment is gonna be getting something like a BCW sorting tray so that you can sort your cards by set, parallel, even price and condition can be really helpful. You don't necessarily have to do this when using Card Dealer Pro, but it really does pay dividends, especially when you're scanning in bulk and you're gonna be doing a lot of like bulk editing of these cards. So I always recommend doing that first. Next, you're gonna pick a scanner. Now, you can use your mobile phone. You can also use a scanner like this uh, Ricoh 8170 auto feed scanner. You can use a flatbed scanner like this Epson V600. They're both really great models, two of the ones we recommend. Um, but if you don't have one of those and you wanna just use a scanner you have at home, that should work as well. However, just picking the hardware is not the end of the line. You also have to pick a piece of software that will go with that scanner and is really designed for scanning cards. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna hop over to my browser. And um, if you're on a Windows computer using the Ricoh 8170, the, the first thing that we always recommend is using the manufacturer software. Ricoh makes a really great piece of software called Paper Screen Capture. So just Google Ricoh 8170 software on drivers, um, click on the first link here. That'll take you to a, a screen where you can go and you can download um, the exact. So I've got it set up for the Rico FI8170 as the model. You can pick your operating system. Now, if I've got a Windows computer and I click display software, it's going to show me um, both the drivers that I want to that I want to install as well as down here um, applications like paper stream capture. I know there's also some other paper stream. We recommend this one right here, paper stream capture. It's updated constantly. Um, that's the one to get. And it offers you a ton of different functionality. Now, if you're on a Mac, however, you should still go download the Rico driver and install that. However, Rico does not make paper stream capture for the Mac. So what do you do? Um, I'm going to go back to the Car Dealer Pro website, and we actually made a piece of software. It's a totally free piece of software, independent of our subscription service, called Trading Card Scanner. Trading Card Scanner is free for Mac or Windows. It works for both. It's not as fully featured as Paper Stream Capture for Windows, which is why we recommend that option there. But it does some other things that are really cool, like with a flatbed scanner, you can scan four cards at a time and you know, offer some functionality. So download um, one of these if you are on especially if you're on a mac if you're on an intel mac an older mac you're going to want to download the older version of the software and then you can fire that up so um i'm just going to go ahead and load that software right now in my browser you can see i i've already had a few batches scanned um, if you're scanning your very first batch you're just gonna um you're gonna go up here sorry click on the the folder icon and i'm just gonna call this demo scans and it'll create a folder. It's gonna be an empty folder at first. Next, make sure your scanner is on and connected to your computer. I know that might seem obvious, but it's so easy when you start doing this to forget to turn the thing on. And if you do run into any issues, my fail safe is power cycle the scanner, re-disconnect, reconnect everything. I know it's like tedious tech IT advice, but it, it does work a lot with scanners. Scanners sometimes can get a little finicky in the way that the drivers um, get latched onto by different softwares. Try not to run any other scanning software when you're doing this. Um, that can also make a huge difference. Um, and then you're gonna go up here at the, at the top right and you're gonna pick the scanner. Now, if you haven't already added the scanner, just click add scanner and it should discover the scanner you have in question. If it doesn't discover it, again, you're gonna wanna reboot everything, but you can select that scanner and then it's gonna tell you sort of what to do. Okay, it's gonna say, insert your, your cards into the auto feed scanner. This recognized it as an auto feed scanner. So I've got some cards here that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna put in. And uh, a very important thing to know with the, with the Ricoh scanners, and every scanner is different, but in these scanners, the way it images is it actually images um, top down. So you're gonna put the cards upside down and backwards, which I, might, I know might sound a little counterintuitive, but that's just how this scanner works. And you can't change the way the scanner works so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna click start scanning and you'll see the cards will start feeding through here and they're just gonna go into my little, my little tray that I have to catch them. All right, so now I have imaged all the cards. You can see it images the front and the back and 
our you know trading guard scanner software just like paper stream capture has the ability for you to set a border so that it'll capture the corners and edges you can see the card imaged appropriately um if you're scanning other types of cards like um chrome cards you know in paper stream capture you can create a color profile that will make those look a little bit better if you're scanning penny sleeve top loader cards uh, we have a bunch of other tips and tricks on our website about how you might want to insert those in sideways into the scanner so that it doesn't try to, you know, the, the rollers don't rip off the sleeves. But bottom line, once you've scanned your cards, it's going to create a folder. So you click complete scanning, and then I will have now a folder on my computer where all these live. So no matter what scanning software you're going to use, this is the ultimate output. Um, is It's going to create a folder of all those images and that is ultimately what we are going to be importing into Card Dealer Pro. So again, just to quickly run through it, pre-sort your cards, make sure that you've picked the right scanning software, given your, given your setup, and then when you make sure when you scan them that you're scanning them the way the scanner is expecting them. You always want to scan front, then back. It's not like our software is going to magically kind of like edit and reconfigure the cards. So it's important that you do fronts and backs like that. Um, if you want to scan front only, you can, although we don't recommend it. When you're listing cards online, you should always do both front and back. Um, and that's going to ultimately create this, this, this folder structure where you have all of the images. And you can see they're actually numbered sequentially front back. So that is what um, tells the software exactly what order to bring everything in as. All right. Next step is we're going to go and actually add these to uh, Card Dealer Pro and show you how the, the magic begins there.